This futuristic building is the fulfillment of one man's dream. The Paneum, a museum located in Aston near the Austrian city of Linz. And it's dedicated to one thing, bread. It's the vision of Austrian bakery owner Peter Augendorfler, whose company Buck Aldrin makes millions. This is his personal tribute to bread. If everything else was gone, but you still had bread, you could live, no matter how bad things were. Throughout history, the moment there was no bread, people knew it was over. That's what's fascinating about bread. Peter Augendorfler always had his heart set on an unusual building for the museum. For some visitors, the avant-garde shape conjures up images of baking. It kind of reminds you of a bundt cake tin, but it's not quite right. It also kind of looks like bread while it's baking. Yeah, bread. <laughs> The museum building was designed by Vienna's internationally renowned architecture studio, Co-op Himmelblau. But architect Wolf de Prix had something else in mind when designing the building. I'm always glad when people have new interpretations, like that it's a loaf of bread or a cake. It's not true, of course. I wasn't thinking about dough or loaves of bread at all. I was imagining a cloud ship. The Paneum has all the stylings Co-op Himmelblau is known for. The firm has gained worldwide recognition for its innovative designs. Like the European Central Bank in Frankfurt. BMW World in Munich. And the Musée des Confluences in Lyon. Paneum founder Peter Augendorfler never believed he'd get Wolf de Prix for the project, so he was all the more thrilled when he said yes. When I saw him, I knew we were in good hands. The way he spoke was so intense, emotional and charming, I thought, I have to build Mr. Augendorfler, a work of art. One that fits with the times. The building was conceived as a personal exhibition space for the collector. Exhibits are presented in display cases, they hang on the walls and from the ceiling. The central spiral staircase leads visitors up through the four exhibition levels and into the main chamber of the museum decked in wood. Over the years, Peter Augendorfler has amassed a collection of some 1,200 pieces for the museum. We want to show the visitors the influence bread has had on the history of mankind over the last six to 8,000 years in food, farming, culture, art, and most notably, religion. The museum explains the origins of bread, for example, with this 9,000-year-old grain milling stone. It shows how bread is revered in many of the world's religions, like in South America and Egypt, and how baking is represented in art. People eat bread every day and don't think anything of it. That's also not the consumer's job. But if you take a bit of time to consider the history of bread, the connections, it's a nice feeling because you're taking part in several thousand years of tradition. How much did it cost to make his dream come true? That's Peter Augendorfler's secret. With the Paneum, he just hopes to share his passion for bread with as many visitors as possible.